when Riot just shared to Silva a 17 year old girl's body. Get this f minor out of here, dude. No one can f***ing expose me because I don't give them shit. I'm, I'm secretive. I'm quiet. I don't tell everyone every f***ing move I make. I'm just saying you're a f***ing team. You gotta leave. Why do you care so much? And of course, you're security because you're right in my face, bro. No, you were being streamed or any of that. No, I did not know. Are you playing on hard to get hard to teach me Yeah, you wish you came into your live stream or whatever like that, but I got the VOD. Derek Ross, what's up, man? Oh. You would tell me that you would Uber her home? When I was about to come over. Wow. Witness. Was down to hire you, but my chat doesn't want me to hire you. Yeah, alright, gotta find a way for them to like me. Then. It's all up to you, man. I just okay, wanna no. see them. How to see them or not? Wait, how old are you? I'm 24. How old are you? 15. So, can I see them or not? Empty spaces. What are we living for? Abandoned places I guess we know the score On and on Does anybody know what we are living for? Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the precipice of something big. Alright, I know you're familiar with the name Riot LOL, at least most of you are. But what if I were to tell you that in this video I'm going to teach you guys who the person at Riot LOL learned from. And not only that, but a bigger creator on Kick who is also being implicated in some serious allegations. Welcome to the Kick Predators. Now I know what many of you guys are thinking, how could you possibly know this stuff, EG, alright? You've never been in Jack Doherty's house, but what if I were to tell you I sat down and I spoke to someone who's not only been there once, but he's been there twice. And not only that, but he worked with Derek regularly. And not only did he work with Derek Rouse regularly, he was there the night that Derek secretly streamed the infamous date. If you're not familiar with who Derek Roz is, allow me to enlighten you. Derek Roz is a kick streamer who has over 34,000 followers on kick. He gained notoriety basically being friends with someone who was bigger than him, someone who goes by the name Clicks. But as far as I know, he's not implicated in any of these allegations. But according to Vinny, Derek pretty much gained all of his popularity just from being friends with someone. Like his best friend growing up right was Clicks. So if it wasn't for his best friend even being Clicks, he wouldn't even have a platform. Like Clicks is like this Fortnite streamer and he, ha he has like 2 million on, on YouTube. Really? I'll right, say hi. Hello, wait, that's, where do that's I go? The camera's right there. Why is it? The camera's right here and then you can see yourself right there. Hello. You can get in too. That's your pass. <laughs> what is that? I'm just curious. What? All right, my chat, my, Derek told me to tell y'all it's smash or pass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They all said smash. <laughs> that's some simple ass shit. Yeah. Alright, well, it was uh, uh you're online? Alright, good luck. Good luck with your stream. Hi, Cody. Alright, uh, yeah, I miss you too. Goodbye. Close the door, please. Thank you. Wait, wait, can you put this in the fridge? Thank you. Alright, I don't want to be that guy, but why the fuck is she talking shit like that? If I was Derek, respectfully, I, I would tell that girl to get the f off. Yo, what? Like, what? Like, no, I'm just I'm just saying, if my girl if my girl was on my boy like that, I would get tight as f That's just me, though. But I'm, I'm also fucking insecure. It was different. He's big. And that was his best friend growing up. That's the reason Derek even actually has a platform to begin with. Um, because he was like in the co content house with clicks and his friends. Like there was like a team. So that's how he started getting notoriety in the first place. Obviously people know him from just being like clicks his friend. This brings up an interesting theory in my perspective. And that's that since Derek didn't have to work to gain his audience, he doesn't understand the value, say someone like clicks would, of having to start from ground one and build your audience that way. And while Vinny agrees. The reason he's so much of a sociopath is because clicks like his best friend had to work hard to become as big as he is he had to get really really good at the game he had to like you know stream all the time and genuinely work hard he basically got gifted his social media presence by by association so he didn't so, really, yeah exactly so he didn't really want to protect it with his life exactly that's why clicks was like genuine build up and he's big like he's super big Derek has all of this clout from association he, like he never really worked for it like he just got gifted all his clout and not notoriety I mean imagine being born and just being gifted like all this stuff like from 
a social media presence clout and by association because your best friend is famous. What is this sociopathic behavior that we're talking about? Well, you know, there's a laundry list of things that Derek is being accused of doing. Some of them have been confirmed by victims of his crimes and other people have come forward and have said there's going to be worse things coming out. But what we know for sure and where we'll start is with a young lady who was invited over to his house under the impression that she was on a date with Derek only to find out he was secretly streaming the whole entire date. And you'll see in this video that Derek continues to try to get aggressive in trying to make this girl perform sexual acts with him, all while hundreds of his viewers watch. When you're ready, how do you play a hard to get hard? Right, teach me this. You look as I as you I'm going to stop the video there because I also did another video where you could sit and go through the entire date with me live on stream and get my reaction to everything right then and there. But this is just a piece from that date. Now, in that video, I point out that there's a third person in that apartment before the date begins, and that person was actually Vinny. So luckily, Vinny was able to track down the girl, let her know that she was just being secretly recorded by him, and bring to her attention what had happened. Now, Derek claims that this girl knew the whole time that she was aware she was on stream. This is clearly false information because Vinny also talked to the girl afterwards and well this is what she had to say. You no know you were being streamed or any of that. No I did not know. You told me something about how like when you left he got like really mad at you and like all that. Do you want to like go ahead and say all of that as well? She's like a scary person like I don't know I could just feel it right off the bat. But like when I tried to leave, I don't know if you know this, but he called me and screamed at me. Like he, he called my phone when I was sitting outside. And he screamed he at so you? He was so mad. He was so mad at me. He was like, why did you leave? I said, because you're being weird. Leave me alone. And then he called me. He kept calling me. So I answered and he was like, I'm fucking weird. Well, guess what? And then I hung up and I blocked him. Uh, okay. So, um, he went to the bathroom and I like got my stuff and I left and I got in the elevator. And by the time I got outside, I already had like four missed calls. And then, um, so I just answered because he was like spamming my phone. I was sitting outside still. And he asked me why I left. And I said, because you're weird. And then he was like, what do you mean I'm weird? And I'm like, like, you're acting very strange and like, I'm scared. So I wanted to leave. And then he started yelling like, I'm weird. Well, like you're f***ing weird. And then I just hung up and he kept calling me over and over again. Yeah, I did want to. For the first, like, couple weeks after it happened, I really, like, my intention was to do something, but I didn't really know how. Yeah, if you hadn't been there, I would have not known, like, to this day. Because, like, I'm not on Twitter or anything. And what was your reaction when you found out that you, the whole thing was streamed? There's, like, a clip on Twitter with, like, six million views. Oh, I was pissed real bad. And then, like, I don't know, it's kind of sad. I feel like I don't deserve that. Yeah, EG, but when did he claim that the girl knew? Well, he actually came on to my stream one time and announced to everybody that the girl knew. Derek Graz, what's up, man? Seen your recent video. The girl's fully aware of everything is known. I don't do those kinds of streams anymore. All right, man, I appreciate talking to you. Would you mind, like, talking with me, like, after I get done with the stream, maybe, like, going on the record about that? Because, uh, I would love to, like, sit down and actually, like, speak with you. Maybe you can, like just kind of be a little bit more transparent with that. Like if she can confirm that, I'll, I'll happily take that back down and I'll post a correction. But as fast as Derek Graz came into my stream, he was gone from my stream. I thought that I would go to Derek's stream and try to get a quote from him, but instead I was just met with nothing but complete hate and anger towards me for my original Derek Graz video. I mean, I guess I can understand. These little freaks that watch Derek Graz, they were about to lose their meal ticket to watching girls basically perform sex acts for their pleasure without their knowledge. Whatever happened to just watching good old fashioned corn hub? Unfortunately, I lost the footage that I recorded of me going into Derek's stream, so the way the internet goes sometimes. Unfortunately, this isn't the only transgression and allegation that is thrown at Derek Ross. Derek Ross was actually also caught on video, his own stream nonetheless, selling nudes of his then minor girlfriend at the time to one of the mods of his server. The reason Derek's content was so similar to Riot's is because Riot's content is just literally inspired by Derek. Riot one up Derek by, I guess, you know, putting CP in his Discord and everything. But Derek would have been doing the same shit if he could get away with it. Like, I have no doubt. Mm -hmm. I mean, he literally sold his ex-girlfriend's nudes, who was, I think it was, she was 15 or 16, to his mod, Silva. All right, thank you, gifted. Coming your way, buddy. Let us board. Um, oh, my God. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you 
And Sova stole his mod, by the way. Sova is to this day stole his mod. Yeah. In the video, in Chicken's video, uh, Sova literally says, "Like the, this body is so amazing." When Riot just shared to Sova a 17-year-old girl's body, and Sova just said, "Oh yeah, her body's so amazing." Now Derek's ex-girlfriend is apparently a very popular streamer, so I'm not going to share her name with you guys, but. Suffice to say, she's probably going to be very upset when she finds out and sees this video. Don't you think? Now, believe it or not, the date recording wasn't the first time that Derek Roz has secretly recorded himself trying to be intimate with a date. In this video here, you'll see that he had already done this once prior. As if selling your girlfriend's nudes, secretly recording yourself on a date with a girl, is not bad enough, he has more skeletons in the closet. This should I do for the other ones are crazy. This should I? Oh, she's calling. So you fucking agree, I'm serious. Well, yeah, but oh, shit. it depends on the person. So like me, would you fucking agree, I'm serious. <laughs> nah, I'm asking for a friend, you feel me? Nah, I'm just asking for a friend. I feel like that's recording or something. The ring I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh. No, you have a camera oh. up there. Oh, I just shut off. Oh, so it's on? No, so the computer's on, obviously. I'm not having a fucking thing. You said what? What are you saying? Alright, what's your... But, um... As you can see, the girl is actually nervous about the camera being on, and he dismisses and assures her that the camera is not on and is not recording anything. If you look at the chat, you can see exactly what type of community Derek is creating here and how they completely dehumanize people in the name of content. This girl has no idea that over a thousand people are watching her in this moment. This is yet another instance of Derek completely taking advantage of an innocent girl for his own gain without any regard to how this could affect her for the rest of her life. The reason I think that Derek Graz continued to do these secret streams was because of the one you just watched right there. He never got caught for it. Nobody ever called him out. Even his chat was giving him a hard time during it. Well, at least a couple noble people were giving him a hard time, but that wasn't enough to deter Derek. And on top of the laundry list of things we've already talked about, there's even more. Now, I know you heard earlier in the video that when I was talking to Vinny, he let you guys know that the reason that Riot LOL started the content he did was because he was trying to one-up Derek Ross's content. But he ultimately learned how to do content from Derek. Riot LOL is a direct reflection of the type of content creator that Derek Ross is and how Riot LOL ended up. It, the, the reason Derek's content was so similar to Riot's is because Riot's content is just literally inspired by Derek. Riot one up Derek by, I guess, you know, putting CP in his Discord and everything. But Derek would have been doing the same shit if he could get away with it. I have no doubt. But most of the VODs that I had from him, like back in like 2023, they are like, uh, like all gone. The, the VOD that you see in that video is actually a VOD that he probably forgot to take down i was able to go back to one of his 2023 vods and i'm guessing he just didn't notice that that vod had that so i, was, I just got lucky hey why not i'm only i'm, I'm because i never like because like, i want to just like see like i just okay. want to see him how to see him or Wait, not how old are you i'm 24 how old are you 15 
So can I see him or not? I mean, I'm like two like out. What the hell? Yeah, like I mean, like why are they not more out? Is the real question. I mean, like what time is it? You know, it's already demon hours. Kid, wait, listen. How old are you? I'm 19. Oh, I'm 16. <laughs> you said 18? I still had the vods from like when I was editing. Oh my gosh, he would be he would be in a lot of trouble because there is a lot of messed up stuff in, in those vods. I can only imagine the things that Vinny has seen on the cutting room floor from Derek Roz. If this is the material that made it into these videos, can you imagine the stuff that didn't make it into the videos and the things that he was doing that will never see the light of day? I cringe to think about it. Now, as you noticed in this video, I listed Derek Roz as predator number one. So let's move on to predator number two. Because there's so many files on kick, there's heal my Another hero, another mindless crime behind the curtain, in the pantomime. Hold the line. Does anybody want to take it anymore? Heal. Mike. Now, I gotta be honest, I didn't know who Heel Mike was before making this video, but a quick look up of Heel Mike suggests that he's a Fortnite player who found an audience as a Twitch partner, has also earned more than 7 million followers by simply interacting with fans during his just chatting sessions. He was banned in February 2023 for live streaming himself receiving oral sex. So let's set the scene for this allegation to take place. Vinny finds himself at Jack Doherty's house, invited there by Heel Mike for Derek as Derek's cameraman. Derek is planning on confronting Jack Doherty, I guess to make a clickbaity back and forth between the two. However, Vinny had no idea that he was going to catch some pretty predatory behavior on Mike's part while he was there. Because there's so many files on kick, there's Heel Mike. He's a big father, Zerka. Mm -hmm. There's obviously Jack, Jack freaking Doherty. And I think it's just like, it's like the Epstein's like <laughs> island all over again, especially with Jack's. Like Jack has a whole other house with, I don't even, I don't even know. I only know of one 16 year old. Imagine how many other secrets he has. The reason I know she's 16, by the way, is because they told me she was 16. Yeah. Like I didn't have my phone because Derek had my phone that day and he took it when he went off. And... So I couldn't like speak to record anything, but I know the girl is 16 because they told me she was 16. Yeah. Here. I don't want one. You don't what do you want? Nothing. I don't like drinking. Get this minor out of here, dude. No, for real. That way. She's at the other house. I don't want anyone knowing where that is. Julius donated two dollars. Another day of Jack. All right, tell her pull up to wherever you are. What's your What's your number? The only way Jack is gonna fix the Wi-Fi is if you push him to it. And that's why I was like, that's why in the video you see me like trying to get out of there. Keep in mind, Heel Mike is twenty nine years old. That's right, he's twenty nine years old, and he just tried to get the number of a sixteen year old. Now I know that some people can make the argument that Derek and people like Jack Doherty are in their twenties, and by Romeo and Juliet laws, it makes consensual intimacy somewhat ethical, even though they're kind of still kind of uh. But Heel Mike, again, 29 years old, trying to get the number of a 16 year old. A lot of people are like, especially since yeah. they're all around your age, you know, young 20s or whatever, you know, it's nice to thing. see a kid to, you know, your age, like stepping up and, and actually doing the right thing, you know? So I think that yeah. that, that is a breath I of fresh air. Heel Mike asked for like the number of the girl. He's saying that word. You want to get it? My viewers are toxic. Why are people saying I'm a minor? Yeah. Here. I don't want one. You don't. What do you want? Nothing. I don't like drinking. Get this minor out of here, dude. No, for real. That one. She's at the other house. I don't want anyone knowing where that is. Julius donated $2. No, 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 Another day of Jack. All right, tell her pull up to wherever you are. Right. What's your, what's your number? The only way Jack is going to fix the Wi-Fi is if you push him to it. You. you gotta. Heel Mike is a pet. Literally on his stream, talks about like one of the 16-year-olds and doing all that shit. Like he's like blatantly about like, and, and it makes you wonder, it's like, how are these people having a platform? Do, like, how is this happening? You know what I mean? This is not getting exposed. This is not like nothing's being done about this. And Heel Mike is just, he's just one of those people that are blatantly about So 
Is he a mic? Is he the one who talks like real deep like that? Yeah, he's okay. like the guy with the beard and all that. Yeah. But I was like, I have no idea who this other guy is, and he kind of looks like. No, who he was like... either. And so I met him working for Derek. Yeah, and I, I guess had, on that no on that video when he was like talking to the blonde girl, and he's like, "Get these effing miners out of here!" Like it was like he was trying to cover himself, but then he was asking for. Oh was that no, he I mean that, he said that later? as a joke. Okay. He said that as a joke. So literally, he didn't really if, want her to leave. He wanted her to. Stay. Nah, nah. He, if you go, if you watch the vod, he literally says that like oh are we do we look good together jack like he literally right after he said that he's like oh do we look good together jack i don't want one you don't know, what do you want nothing i don't like drinking this fucking miner out of here dude no for real neither do i <laughs> jack give us a blunt do you guys do jack do shots yeah he doesn't really i should us. you ship us of course I'm going to. I'm waiting for you. Everyone. Hey, let's end together, Jack. We've never done that. I should have put that in the video, but I, I didn't really see a point. Because here, Mike is just so obviously known to be a pedophile that it's like I'm, I'm picking at like low straws there with that. Like people, I wouldn't be exposing much of your Mike being a pedophile because he's just a pedophile in his vod. Like yeah. I don't even like you know what I mean. Like, that's like low hanging fruit. I think but, it's a common misconception that these guys have that it's edgy humor. But if you say it enough, it kind of starts to be like, okay, and, well, how many times and, are you gonna and, make that joke? And nothing as well is all jokes have truth to it. Yep. So like the reason jokes are funny is because like most of them are just true these people are joking about being a pedophile and all that it's like yeah because they are pedophiles. like they, that's why like they wouldn't who who makes a joke about being a pedophile like genuinely who who makes an edgy joke about that the not, only people i know that make don't. edgy jokes are actually like about that all right now obviously i didn't take a lot of time to do a deep dive into heel mike but apparently you know i'm gonna trust Vinny's opinion that whatever mike's doing in his vods is no different than what we just saw him do in front of us i mean how much more evidence do you need than a guy who's literally trying to get a number from a 16 year old girl a 29 year old guy who's trying to get a number from a 16 year old girl right in front of us so i mean it is what it is right like what more evidence do i need than what we just saw Whatever happens, I'll leave it all on a chance Another heartache, another failed romance On and on, does anybody know what we are living for? So the last person we're going to talk about today is probably well known to you He's well known to most of the internet and not for very positive things Most people hate this man, but Anyway, Vinny had a lot of interesting things to say about Jack Doherty. So I just want to give you guys a little background information on how Vinny ended up at Jack Doherty's house. So Vinny was, again, like the cameraman for Derek Graz, and Derek Graz was invited over to Jack Doherty's house by none other than Heel Mike, because Heel Mike was friends with Click. Derek Graz, friends with Click. So I'm sure you guys can work that out, right? Derek decided that when he got over there, he was going to pretty much confront Jack Doherty, get a nice little viral clip of him trying to confront him or punk him or uh, press him, as the kids call it these days. So I asked Vinny how that all played out. Take me back through that night the first time that you guys go over to Jack Doherty's house and I want to hear about your first kind of experience with him how that all played out like how Derek drama all started happening if him and Jack talked about anything you know kind of just walk us through like that experience for you I went in there was just filming for him then they got into an altercation I mean it's really simple what everything you see is kind of was on camera I was filming for him the whole time I was there and then when then like they got into altercation then Jack Doherty was like oh because this wasn't even said on camera because I don't think you could hear his voice that well. But he was basically, Jack Doherty was saying like, oh, like, do you want to work for us? Do you want to work? Like, do you want to get hired by us and all that? And I was like, oh, you're down to hire me or whatever. And at this time, I had I had never watched a Jack Doherty video in my life. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I the only thing I know about Jack Doherty is that Fousey slapped him. <laughs> I didn't even know that Zerka or Hill Mike or these people even went to his house. The only time I knew about him was when Fousey went to his house and Neon went to his house, and the Island Boys. That's literally the only time I knew about Jack Doherty. So I really didn't know much about him or any of that. I knew he was like really hated on the internet. I, I didn't know like anything about him. I just knew like that Fousey slapped him. Then Derek took my, took the camera. So I, and in my thought process, I'm, cause I'm thinking Derek's not actually mad. He's probably gonna let me like take the job and then he's gonna wait for me to come back out and then, you know, see him and then we'll leave. So that's my thought process. Then Derek takes the camera and I thought I was, I, he just took the camera. Like I was like, oh shit, like, okay, then I guess he's gonna wait for me outside then. So then Jack Doherty was like, all right, come with us. We're gonna get you paid and all that. And then we're gonna get you like on a contract and all that. And I was like, oh, bet. 
I was like, yeah, I'm a good cameraman, but I'm like really good at editing too. So you can hire me as an editor, like whatever you want to hire me as. And I showed him my work on editing. He was like, oh bro, you're talented. It pretty much just went on from there. Then I went outside to try to find Derek. And then Derek was like gone. Like he was like long gone. And then he also had my phone as well. So he had my phone and he was long gone. So I was like, damn. Was he mad at you for, I guess, talking to Jack? I had no idea. I thought he was just wait. I thought he was waiting for me. I didn't even know he was mad at me or anything. Cause in my head, I'm thinking he's not actually mad at Jack. I knew, I knew because before we even got to the place, he was literally talking about planning out how he would punch him or slap him or how we would get into like an altercation with him. Uh, He was planning it all out. When I, when this whole thing went down, I was like, he's, this is all for clicks. Like, I didn't think he was actually mad at him. Yeah, he would. And then he actually got like mad at me that I accepted the job. I was like, dude, you know, I work for whoever wants to hire me. Like. What are you talking about? He got all mad about that. And I was like, okay, whatever. Then, okay, obviously that same night I was at the house. I went to look for him, he wasn't there. And then the girls, the girls are the reason there was a car there. So I didn't have a way back home until they left. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even want them to drop me off because they were drunk. I was like, okay, well, I gotta wait until somebody gets me an Uber or any of that. I stayed on Jack Doherty's like house. And then while I was walking around in the house and stuff, like the team, there was like the team and the girl and some girls there and they were like oh yo you know she's 16 right and i'm like what like she's what do you mean and then she told me she was like yeah i'm 16 or whatever when i first heard that i was just like okay i don't know if they're messing with me i don't know if like i don't know what's going on if they were messing with me this would be like a really weird way to mess with me like who just says that you know what i mean like who yeah. just says they're 16 or whatever so anyways when i heard that i was like i was already trying to get out the house but when i heard that i was like okay there's a 16 year old in this house i definitely don't want to be here like <laughs> I don't, I don't want to like, I want to get out. You know what I mean? So I would just, I was like, I asked like, for, and this wasn't even on stream, but I asked like two times you can see me ask on stream. And that was on Hill Mike stream. But like, I asked like, I think maybe like six different times, like when the Uber was coming to draw me off to my house, because I was like, bro, I hate this, like this energy in this house, this everything about being in the house felt so off. Like it felt like the, the team felt like satanic. It felt like that's the best way I could describe it. Like they just felt off. Like they felt weird. They felt fake. They felt everything felt so weird, fake and satanic. It just felt so bad. So especially when I heard there was a 16 year old there, I was like, okay. I didn't even talk to her. I just like literally left. I, I, I like left this whole situation entirely. It's like um, a modern day Manson cult. It seems like. Oh yeah, literally. I feel like all these social media influencers have like their own cults. Like I, I, literally. So yeah, I was just trying to leave, and then so I obviously I come back again. But the reason I'm coming back again is so I could actually get hired by Jack, like fully hired, like get in a contract and everything. Were you the like invited being, to come back, or did you? No, I just went. Okay, you just showed up, and they were like, "Oh, yeah, we I know you." Up. He, he accepted me to come back, yes, but I just showed up that day. Like, he didn't care if I came back or anything. Anybody that, like, has been to his house, like, he kind of, like, lets them in for the most part uh, if they can, like, provide him content. So, like, I knew he would let me in because, like, I was, it's kind of like one of those things where, like, you're kind of, like, invited, like, always, you know what I mean? Okay. So, he was streaming. I literally called him. I was like, yo, uh, can I come in? And I was like, I'm outside and everything. He was like, yeah, okay, you can come in, you can come in. So, it's not like, I can't, like, get in there without him actually opening the gate there's a whole security there like that's i, what I was wondering in there. i was like yeah, i can no, only obviously. imagine the type of people who would just find their way into his house if you could just no, walk in there I, I can't just walk in there's a whole <laughs> ass security with a big gate there's there's no way you can just trespass and i would be breaking the law if i trespassed no i called him before i went in and he let me in when i got in i was like yo what's up what's up and I was like, I was basically saying like, yo, are you going to give me the deal? Like, are you going to hire me? He said, how do I know you're going to not go ahead and talk all this shit about me when you went ahead and like exposed Derek and all that? And how do I know you're not going to expose me? And then he goes on to say, how do I know you're not going to expose me? And then he goes on to say, well, oh, you wouldn't be able to expose me anyways, because uh, I'm too good at hiding my shit. I'm too, I'm too secretive. I'm too, you know, I know who to trust and all that. To me in the future, when one day shit doesn't work out and you just start going talking all this shit on me, no one can fucking expose me because I don't give them shit. I'm, I'm I'm secretive, I'm quiet, I don't tell everyone every fucking move I make. No one has dirt on me, bro. I'm not retarded. Like, I know who to trust. And I'm over here like, the first thing that came to my head was like, are you just, like, you're exposing yourself, my boy. Like, you basically just said that you have, like, a lot to hide. Like, yeah. what are you saying? <laughs> like, I couldn't believe he said that in the video when I watched it back. I said, he literally is exposing himself right here. I got, nobody can expose me, but there's plenty to expose. Essentially, yeah, right. it's like, right. <laughs> I'm like, so he is, he, nobody exposed me. Not because there's nothing to expose, nah. Cause I'm just too good at hiding what I got to expose. Like, like he's just showing it in your face. Like, 
it's, it's crazy. I think but it's only a matter our... of time until someone either doesn't get paid as much as they thought they were, or he pisses off the wrong person, and then they're going to come forward with more stuff that they know about. It's only a matter of time. I mean, Jack Doherty is probably by far one of the most disliked people on the internet, and he's kind of earned that reputation himself. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Jack, Jack is... is like he's he's gonna get arrested pimping out a minor on only fans and that's only one that i know about like i don't even know if there's others and i heard on the video he said that he keeps these people in like a separate house that he doesn't let people yeah know no, i put that in the video and that's because he'll mike asked for like the number of the girl he's saying that word you want to get it my viewers are toxic why are people saying i'm a minor uh, yeah Here. i don't want one you know what do you want nothing Julius donated two dollars. Another day of Jack. All right, tell her pull up to wherever you are. The what's her What's her number? The only way Jack is gonna fix the Wi-Fi is if you push him to it. You got. And it makes you wonder. It's like, how are these people having a platform? So nobody else knowing where that house is, unless there's something to hide in that house. Because yeah. all of his houses are like, for the most part, known to the public because he constantly streams. Like everybody knows where he lives at this point. Yeah, not so, to mention that he could be using that house as like his little like Playboy mansion or something and going over and God knows doing what with whoever's there. And that I mean, was yeah, part like of even, the- Even his ex-girlfriend knows about him ba basically cheating on her with a 17 year old and trying to get her to pimp out content on OnlyFans. But he obviously doesn't claim that it was together. Let's just say around November. <laughs> You told me everything that you were f***ing hanging out with her. I have f***ing pictures and videos of you show guys f***ing cuddling. Up, show up. And then she would tell oh. me that you would Uber her home when I was about to come over. Wow. Oh, oh. I didn't even- And I don't... then when I met her on f***ing like, oh, New Year's Eve, you told her to tell me that she met you that day. You guys knew each other since f***ing November. If they could find the girl who it is, find out who she really is, it shouldn't be that hard to get a paper trail of when her first OnlyFans appearance was. That's what I was thinking too. I haven't got this information to the police yet, but I'm thinking if I do, all the police need to do is just get her information. Like, I, I wouldn't know how hard that would be for them, but if they could just take my word for it and just literally get her ID, like her real ID, they would know I'm telling the truth. Yeah. If they just did a, the, slight, the slightest bit of an investigation, they would figure it out to be true. I don't know if that's possible. I think it, I think it might be because Florida treats, uh, by the way, we, we're in Florida, by the way, not LA. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure yeah. where it was. I, I just assumed yeah. it because of that party, you know, where the Yeah, the we're, we're in happened. Miami, which is like the new LA now, technically. But. Yeah, that's where Riot LOL was too, wasn't it? Yeah, all, everybody's in Miami, yeah. Riot, Aiden, Jack, Derek. Jack, Derek is in Texas now, but he's gonna move to Miami. Well, I doubt he's gonna be able to move to Miami now since he's probably gonna go. So. Yeah, it depends on how tangled this web goes. Because uh, at this point, Derek will be back in a week, and I'm sure he'll do a big celebration stream returning. But it all depends on how much more is brought to Kick's attention. I feel like I had a hand in him getting banned. And again, I am totally against deplatforming for the most part. But what he was doing, you know, if you're doing illegal stuff like that that are ruining people's lives on stream, in my opinion, gives me every right to want you off the platform. If you're just doing just, like yeah. stuff that's like edgy, and you're like skating illegally or something like that in a place I'm not gonna really care too much about that but if you're ruining young women's lives I feel like you have every right to be taken off that platform plus I kind of like a lot of the things Kick's doing if you go and sit and watch Kick streamers the large majority of them are very talented very entertaining people and I, I don't want to see them lose their platform so in a way I almost feel like I'm trying to reach out to Kick to be like listen guys I like what you're doing but this is gonna end up destroying your platform permanently my purpose in making this video wasn't to have a whole bunch of people go and harass these guys. Well, maybe he'll might. I'm just kidding, YouTube, calm down. In all honesty, it seems like there is a pandemic of predators currently on kick that are preying on young women as a form of content, which the father in me raising a young girl scares the ever living shit out of me. Now, I gotta be honest, guys, this was a rough one to get through, and I wanna be thankful that we have young men like Vinny D who are willing to step up, speak to truth, and not be afraid of the repercussions, because frankly, there's no place on the internet for this style of content. Not to mention that everything that we saw up until now has been mostly illegal, with the exception of Jack Doherty, because, well, frankly, we just don't have any evidence. Hopefully this video can bring awareness to let people know that it is a possibility that Jack Doherty is pimping minors on OnlyFans. And at the very least, 
they should look into that. Now, again, I want to establish the fact that these are just allegations against Jack Doherty. The other guys, though, well, you know, you saw it on the video right there. I mean, that's proof if not for anything else. Am I correct? I want to give a special thanks to Vinny D for being brave enough to step up and speak his mind, considering I'm sure he's probably going to face a lot of criticism from the fans of the creators that you saw in this video. So I want to hear from you guys in the comments. Let me know what you think. Are these creators the monsters we think they are? Or is this just some sick show for entertainment? Personally, I think we could do better. So I want to end here with a message to Jack, Riot, and Derek. Thank you all for watching. Empty platforms, what am I streaming for? Beyond the chat room, right outside your door, on and on. Does anybody know what am I streaming for? Right, lol. Derek Roz, Jack Doherty. When you look back at yourselves, and you're thinking about what you could have done differently. I want you to remember this moment, and I want you to decide what kind of legacy you want to leave behind for the people who remember you in the long term. Because right now, the way you're going, no one can fucking expose me. There's only one thing I see. I'll do anything to win. Don't care who I If you guys made it this far into the video, let me be the first to thank you. You guys are the agents of change. You are the ones who are making a difference. If you enjoyed this video, may I suggest this video right here where I go over Derek Graz's secret date. See you there.